Hello, good evening. Very much welcome to Aki Nature event. Aki Nature is a community that is uh, working globally, it's a non profit community making events across the globe, and is trying to bring the communities of HR leaders, technologists, and uh, all those that are enthusiastic about the future of work and all those that want to somehow change the work based on the world. It creates a space, a safe space for everyone to spread their ideas, a space where they can be listened, and we want to create a space where we bring people that are inspiring with their stories, their experiences, and that are have been transforming the way we live and work. I want to welcome three other communities that are present here because we are at a moment in life and in history where we cannot work alone anymore. And the power of communities is very important. So I want to welcome three communities I know that are present here and they are doing an impact in the world. We have Ignite team that is based in St. Gallen, a community of uh, students that are really advocating for purpose-driven businesses here in this side. We have another community that is called Humans First that are trying to bring the human aspects to, to, to the workplace. We have some representatives here, there, coming from UK as well. And we have people representing conscious capitalism. So we are all believing that there is a need of change in the world and we are trying to help each other stay there. Today we are focusing our conversations in how we can activate the human side in doing business. I want you to listen. The two biggest challenges that need to be addressed are climate change and inequality. And frankly, they're closely related. We see that we're at the point where the cost of inaction is actually higher than the cost of action. To the point that we're starting to ask ourselves the question, what the heck are we doing? And we're sleeping on the wheel. Although we're driving, we're clearly not driving fast enough. We're heading for three and a half, four degrees and we're sitting here as if nothing happens. We're far behind on the global goals as well. Now, we might all be fine, but there will be a hell of a lot more people dying. There will be a heck of a lot more poverty in this world. I don't want to be responsible for that. Anytime you know that you're polluting and put carbon in the air, there's someone else going to die. Anytime you know you're wasting food, there's someone else going to die. It is our problem. We're living on that same planet. And if we don't find a way to live in harmony with our fellow citizens, it's not going to work. We don't need more PhDs. We don't need more people to go to Pluto or Mars to find the answer. What we need is human willpower. And the simple question to ask ourselves is, do we really care? Ladies and gentlemen, we belong to the 2% of the world population that has won the lottery ticket of life. And that brings us to goal number 17 of the SDGs. A goal that is called partnership. It's a partnership for humanity. It's a partnership for the common good. It's a partnership where we put the interest of others ahead of our own. In the course of history, there comes a time when humanity is called upon to shift to a new level of consciousness. It clearly is the moment to do this. You're actually doing something for generations to come. You're a real leader. You're a real leader by simply bringing humanity back to business. My simple request to you is live a life with purpose. Thank you very much. <laughs> so I have a question for you. How does it make you feel when you listen to this? Does anybody want to answer this question? It's a wake up call. Responsibility. I just feel bloody hell. This is what my company is working for. The cheapest. I feel joy.
I feel the uh, call of action. Yes, and I feel hope. So I think when I listen to organizations, and when I say I, I listen, I feel them, I sense them, I talk to them, and uh, I understand what they want to share. I feel that I live in the two realities in organizations. One reality is management, and the other reality is everyone that is not management. <laughs> so when I talk to management, they tell me something like, they are lazy. They are not committed. We want to cut costs. We want to increase our profits. We want to implement change. When I go to the other side, what I hear is they don't care about us. They don't treat us as humans. They are only treating us peers. They don't let us grow. But we cannot go against the system. So I, I really think that we are at the point that this, this uh, system is not working anymore. It doesn't bring what we need. And I think it's time to reconsider how organizations are. So today we will have, we will have six speakers, we will have six leaders and six examples of how we can build these bridges into management and the others because we cannot do it alone and because it's time to break, break these bridges. These people are not here because they have a job title. Actually, you will not see a job title in our slides. They are here because of their beliefs, because of their actions, and because they really want to make an impact in the world. Not they want, they do. They are doing it. And they have obtained, some of them done it for years. That's why they are here. So my question is, if it makes sense, why should we do nothing when we can do something else? So for instance, we can bring up our courage and bring the best of ourselves and try to change leadership and create some consciousness in the place we are working. And we can bring people full of fulfillment. Why then we do nothing? I would like that we are really aware of the fact that we can make an impact that, could, that can business come is possible for good, and that the system change is possible. 